What the heck is up guys, it's Jacob here, and welcome to a video with Windows 8, because Windows 8 is really giving me problems and it sucks. Anyways, I'm shooting this one on my, my iPhone camera one, because my camera's in my car, and I'm gonna be shutting down the computer in this tutorial, so I can't use the screen recorder. Uh, as much as I'd like to, I just can't use it. So anyways, um, I was going to install drivers for the Arduino board, because I wanted to continue the Arduino tutorial series, but anyways... It would not let me do them. Uh, it would not let me install them. The reason is because it actually checks the driver signatures. Windows 8 does. And it's really stupid. They don't actually give you a really easy way to turn that off. You know, there's no just, you know, settings and turn, the, you know, uncheck the box that says check the Windows, uh, the, the driver signatures. So if they are expired or whatever, it's not going to even install a driver. It won't even, it'll act like it just doesn't work. So to do this, we're going to go to settings. We're going to hit up the control panel. And then, uh, I'm sorry, wait, 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 sorry. We're going to go to settings. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit, um, sorry, not the control panel. I'm so used to going that. We're going to go to change PC settings. And then from here, what we're going to go ahead and do is go to update and recovery. And then we're going to go ahead and go to um, recovery. And then what we'll do is go to advanced startup. And then it's going to restart. Now it's going to restart your computer in a different, yeah, let's see. It's going to restart it into a, a different mode than it normally would. It's going to boot into Windows and it's going to give you a bunch more options. So here we go. So it's getting, it says you can continue and go to 8.1. You can troubleshoot or turn off your PC. So let's go ahead and troubleshoot. And let's go to advanced options. And then we're going to go to startup settings. At this point, it's going to show you what your options are, but it's not going to let you do anything. You're going to have to hit the restart button. And at this point, it's going to actually restart your entire computer. So it'll take a second, give it a second. Um, my computer's pretty dang fast, so hey, you can see me. What's up, guys? Um, I really don't want to edit this out. Sorry, guys. Skip the video, but you can watch how blazing fast my computer boots. There it goes. Um, so we can see that the option 7 is to disable the driver signature enforcement. We'll go ahead and just hit 7 on our keyboard, and that's literally all you have to do. It's now going to boot into Windows, and it will not check for driver signatures. It will also, I mean, it will give you a warning when you go to install your drivers. It'll say, hey, bro, you know, you don't have signatures on this driver. It's probably not safe to install it, which it probably is because Windows is just crappy. And there you go. And now if you go to install a driver without a signature or an up-to-date signature, it won't give you issues installing it. It'll just warn you, and you can just hit install anyway. So that's pretty much it for this one. Hope this was helpful with you guys. If you guys have any more questions, definitely hit me up at thehackhub.com slash forums. Um, leave a comment below. Um, like the video, whatever you got to do. And uh, have a good one, guys.